In recent years, concepts for personal knowledge management like zettelkasten, second brain, bidirectional note taking have been very popular. However, I know that a lot of people find apps like Obsidian, Rome Research, and Notion intimidating and hard to use. Therefore, today I would like to introduce you to the alternative to those apps, and it is called Xtiles. Actually, Xtile reached out to me two years ago, but at the time the app was still immature and lacked a lot of features. But today. I'm happy to let you know that the app has come so far and it is ready to be a solid choice for your next note-taking and productivity app. I'll cover the fundamentals of X-Tiles and how it works, also show you step-by-step -step of how to use it for personal knowledge management, and finally, offer my personal take of how I will use it in my personal system. I would describe X-Tiles as the all-in-one productivity workspace. On the website, it says, it's like Notion and Miro had a baby, but to me, it's more like if Notion and Pinterest had a baby. What's unique about Xtiles is that it offers a perfect blend of organizing information in both visual and structured way. You can see information in a flexible board view. You can have a table view with properties like Notion. You can link notes together and see backlinks. And it even has a solid task management like Todoist. Xtiles offers everything that you can possibly want from a productivity app, and it performs pretty well in each area. So let me show you the basics of how Xtile works. So in Xtiles, the first level of organization is workspaces. A workspace is a space for you to share the information. You can have a personal workspace that only you can access. You can have a family workspace that you can share with your spouse, or you can have workspace for your colleagues. So basically the concept of workspaces is for dictating who would be able to access these information. Within a workspace, you have projects. A project is basically an area of your life or it could be a project that you are working on. For example, I have a project of building my dream home office. I also have a project for content creation, which is more like an area, not a project. I have a content strategy of the target audience. Also, I have the content pipeline. So this could also be a project too. I also have a project for life in action. So basically these are the things that I would use every single day. It could be my daily notes, my habit tracker. So we will take a look at this in a moment. Now you have workspaces to dictate who will be able to access this information. You have projects within a workspace. Now let's dive into a project. In order to create a project, you can create new project right here and you can create from scratch or you can use a bunch of templates that Xtiles provide you. For now, I'm just gonna start from scratch. Now we are inside a project. So within a project, you have a cover, which is really cool. You can position it up and down. You can change the cover using the unsplash images. Of course, you have to give a title. Within the project, you can create different sections. And there are three kinds of sections. And this is where I got very confused at first. So let me show you what I mean. The first kind of section is a page. So a page is not necessarily a page. It's more like a canvas, a board. So for example, what you are looking at here is a page. A page is like a flexible space that you can rearrange the information however you want. Within a page, you can create tiles. And in order to create tiles, you just drag like this, or you can double click, or you can simply click on these things on the left. A tile is basically a piece of information. So you can have an image tile and you can adjust this however you want. Similar to Notion, a tile can have many different kinds of information. For example, you can make a title and within a tile, you can simply hit slash and then it will offer a lot of options for you. You can type something, you can add image, of course. You can even paste link from YouTube and also play it here. You can add a table. You can even have a nested tile. So basically a tile within a tile. There are so many things that you can put in a tile and I really encourage you guys to explore. But overall, a page contains tiles and a tile can have many different kinds of information and you can drag and scale it however you want. The second kind of section is a collection. A collection is basically a structured data that you can view it in many different ways. For example, I can create a collection of shopping lists and I can create it in a table view. 
within the collection, you can have different properties. For example, you can have price, you can have status, you can have drop downs. If you are coming from Notion, this is very similar to Notion. For example, if I have this kind of information, I can decide to view this in a different view. So the idea is that you have the same kind of structured information with different properties and you can view it in many different ways. As I said, if you are coming from Notion, this will be very familiar to you. Now we have a page which contains flexible tiles and you can move things around. We have a collection that contains more structured data that you can view in many different ways. Also, you have another option, which is a group. And basically, a group is, as the name suggests, is a group of a page or a collection. For example, I can add this to a group. And within a group, you can have many collections and many pages within a group. So I can create a new page here. So as you can see, you can have a page and a collection within a group. This helps you bundle things together and make things organized. Besides organizing information, you can also organize tasks in Xtile as well. And that's one of the coolest thing because you can sprinkle tasks in different tiles and it will consolidate into one to-do list. For example, if you are taking a meeting notes here and you want to add a task right here, you can simply hit slash add task and right here, you can even add a due date right in the notes. And this task is going to show up in the task list. This is very similar to a regular to-do application. So you have dates and you have to-dos right below the date. For example, this is the task that we just added. But you can also see that there are tasks from other projects and everything would be consolidated in a task list, which is very helpful. You can even sync it to Google Calendar, but this is on the paid version. Besides the tasks, you can also see other things in the right bar, which is the inbox area that you can quickly capture information. You can quickly create some scratch notes. And once you have the information created, you can simply drag it onto the board or onto a page. You can see alerts. You can also see the calendar view of your tasks. Besides seeing the tasks in the desktop version, you can also view tasks in a mobile device. So let's go there. So right now I'm on my mobile device. So you can see all the projects right here. You can see the workspace. So this is very similar to the desktop view. You can also see the inbox that you can create quick notes. Here are some information that you can jot down here. You can capture everything very easily. You can just hit the plus sign and you can create a note or a task. So in the task view, this is very similar to what we saw on the desktop view. And you can basically use this to check the to do's for the day. You can also manage the to do by changing the due date. I haven't tried this, but you can also assign it to your team member. So this would be really perfect for a small team or a company. So that's pretty much all the basics of what you need to know about X-Tiles. So now that you know the basics of X-Tiles, let me walk you through the things that I like and the things that I wish they could do better. The things that I love the most about X-Tiles is that it is pretty easy to use. You can basically figure things out except for the page and the collection concepts, which I found pretty confusing at first. But once I understand how it works, it is pretty easy to use. The second thing I like is that it is a really robust all-in-one product productivity app. You can do note-taking, task management, inspiration, and it is pretty good at each area. I also really love the Pinterest-like organization that you can drag and drop things and you can see your pin board in a visual way. And finally, you can easily switch back and forth between the inspiration mode and the action mode. Even though there are a lot of good things about X-Tiles, there are some of the things that you have to consider, especially if you were to switch from a more mature app like Obsidian, Notion, or Evernote. First is speed. It is not slow by any means, but if you were to compare it to Obsidian or other more mature app, it has a little more loading time and it is a little more clunky to interact with. Another thing is the completeness of the features that they have, even though they have come so far, but they still lack some of the key features that I wish they have, such as bulk editing, being able to edit many items at once, or add the note on the go without having to add the text and then 
can add it to collection or being able to set date range instead of a date. These are just some of the minor things and they will get better over time. But I want you to consider this if you were to make a switch from a more mature app. Next, I'll show you step by step how to use X styles for personal knowledge management using my productive thinking system. If you are new to the productive thinking system, please check out this video first or you can just simply follow along because it is pretty intuitive. Just a quick recap of my productive thinking system. Basically, it is a system for personal knowledge management. So you have four step capture, crystallize, connect and create. So first of all, you capture raw information on your daily notes. Whether you come across anything in your daily life, you capture them on daily notes. And if you read some books or consume some information, you capture them on reference notes. Once you have the raw information, then you have to distill or crystallize these information into permanent notes. So a permanent note is a piece of meaningful information that you want to keep in your system. Once you have a permanent note, you can connect them to a hub note, which is a bigger picture, a topic, a project, something that you would like to explore, or you can connect them to other permanent notes to create more connections. Once you capture raw information, crystallize the information into clean units, you connect them to other information to make them more meaningful. The final step is to create. So you do something meaningful out of these information. You can see the video down in the description to learn more about the system. So now that you have the basics of the productive thinking system, let me show you how I set up this project and also how to use it according to the framework. So basically, you have a page that contains the most relevant information that you want to have right in front of you. And then you have a bunch of collections with different kinds of notes. On the home page, you might have a list of hub notes that are actively on your mind. You might have a self reminder or something that you want to remember every day to be your best self. You can have your goals or habit tracker. So basically it is extremely flexible and that's what I love about X styles. And you can also have your daily notes. So in order to create a daily note, I don't think you have to do anything too complicated. You can just drag and then type in the date and then you can start like typing something. So that's pretty much the whole setup. So let me show you the example of how you would use this with the productive thinking system, starting from capture, crystallize, connect and create. Let's start with capture. So basically in the productive thinking system, we have two main notes for capturing daily notes for random information and reference notes for the information that you consume. So this could be classes, YouTube video, books, anything that has a specific source. The cool thing about X tiles is that it has so many ways of capturing. So basically you can create a daily note and you can basically just capture anything very quickly. You can capture an image, you can capture even a table if you want. The second way is you can capture things quickly through your inbox and add some information right here. You can also use the web clipper to capture information. So basically, if you are using Google Chrome, you can install the extension and you can basically quickly capture the link right in your inbox. So as you can see now in your inbox, you have the link already captured. So for example, this is a reference note. So you can quickly add information right in the inbox. You can quickly take some notes here. If you want to have more space, you can always drag this onto the board. Now we are done with capturing. The second step is to crystallize. So crystallize is crystallizing the ideas or the key insights that you have learned from the reference notes or daily notes. So in the crystallization step, you can review the notes that you have taken. Then you can summarize into some key learnings. Once you type out the key learning, you can quickly turn this into a permanent note by add to collection and you would select permanent notes. So this basically add this information into the permanent notes and then you can quickly type in more information right here. You, now you have capture raw information, crystallize it into a unit of clean information. Then the next step is to connect. So in order to connect the notes, basically you can simply add an add sign and then write type out the name of the note. So now this permanent note is connected to another permanent note. You can also connect it to a hub note using a similar method. Once everything is said and done, since this is a reference note, you can simply add this 
to the reference notes collection as well. At this point, you can keep it here on your desk or you can simply delete it. It won't go away, so it's still in the reference notes collection. Now we have capture, crystallize, connect. Here comes the last part, create. And this is where I think X-Tiles shines the most because it is an all-in-one application. You can make the information that you have learned integrated into your daily life. For example, as I said, you can have the hub notes right in front of you. If you have some learnings, you can use that as a self-reminder. For example, this is one of the permanent notes that you might have created and you can use this in your daily life or you can use those notes to create a project because the app allows you to create a workspace that you can integrate the learning mode with the action mode. It is very easy for you to create something like a content or some other projects. As a bonus, if you want to add more information into this project, you can also add this into a group, like you can add this to this collection and you can add everything into the My Growth group. It will allow you to have even more pages or even more collections so that you can have everything in one space rather than spread it all out. And finally, I would like to give you some my final thoughts about X Tiles and how I would use it in my own life. Personally, I don't think I would use X Tiles for my productive thinking system because I have a lot of information in Obsidian. However, last year I taught this productive thinking system to many students last year. And I found out that Obsidian was just too overkill for many people. And I think X Tiles could be a great alternative if you think Obsidian or Notion or other apps are a little bit too intimidating. Maybe you should give X Tiles a try. However, what I think I would use X Tiles in my personal life is more like a life planning. I really love that you can have the visual in here. I can have my funeral speech. I can clarify my value and set goal using different collections. I would also experimenting using X Tiles for some of my projects like home improvement or content creation. So basically I can have one page that have all my favorite YouTube styles and I can have my content strategy and the content pipeline here. And that's it for today. Let me know down in the comments whether you are considering X-Style for your next productivity app or are you going to incorporate it into your system somehow. I will be curious to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.